Hey everyone, Matt Pridham here from Web Diligence, back again with another iSnipe video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the rangefinder feature. Uh, there's not a whole lot to set it up, so uh, let's just get started. Okay, so uh, we do have to load in some ammo and a firearm that we're going to be using. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to be uh, loading in some 45 ACP way down here. And the American Eagle 230 total metal jacket. And we'll go ahead and load in 1911 here. Now the range section we can uh, just totally ignore since we're going to be getting a, a very precise um, distance from, from our rangefinder. Uh, so we can forego all that. Uh, we can go ahead and load in our daily variables if we like. And then we're off to the Compute Distance button, where we'll find the Calculate Distance, and we'll go ahead and click that. All right, so I'm on a simulator here, and so I don't have the luxury of a, of a camera like you would on an iPhone or an iPod Touch or maybe an, an iPad. Uh, but I do have some saved photos here that I can load in, and we can go that route. Uh, I have a couple here. We're going to start with the uh, larger photo so we can just kind of get a better idea of what's going on here. So the uh, the first thing to mention here is uh, we decided to go with uh, with a zoom slider instead of uh, doing the whole pinch to zoom thing, uh, and we did that because we've already got a, a top marker here and a and a bottom marker here, uh, and as you just saw there, you, you can also move the image around, um, and so there's a lot going on on this screen already, and we thought we'd save you the confusion of uh, you know where can I zoom and where can I not, so we we went with the slider. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Uh, so uh, we have the bottom marker here, which uh, we just line up with the uh, the bottom of the target. And uh, you guessed it, the top marker lines up with the top of the uh, the photo here. Now uh, I'm actually going to switch over to the uh, the other image just so that we have uh, uh, a little bit of a distance to be dealing with. So. Um, Go ahead and uh, calculate, and we're going to grab this photo instead, and we'll move the bottom marker here, and the top marker to the top. And we're going to go ahead and zoom right in, so we can get this a little bit more precise. Alright, so as we can see, um, let me go ahead and move this top marker for a second. We have a, a target that's about uh, four fifths of the way down a, a 50, 50 yard range here. So um, go ahead and just reset this quickly. And uh, you can enter enter your uh, target height manually here, or you can uh, go ahead and click the blue button here and have a look at our average heights. Uh, we have a few in here. I'm going to go ahead with the uh, a grizzly brown bear, which is uh, four feet tall. I know that this paper target is actually <laughs> four feet tall. And uh, lo and behold, it tells us that our target is 40 yards away. Again, it's about four fifths of the way down a 40 yard or a 50 yard range. So uh, that makes perfect sense. Um, one last thing to mention here is um, <coughs> these top and bottom markers they don't have to line up nicely. Uh, you could have your bottom marker way over here and your top marker way over here, uh, particularly if you're measuring an animal or something like that. Um, and they don't have to align perfectly vertical, as you can see. Okay, so from here it's just a matter of clicking the Compute button. And uh, here we have our, uh, our custom trajectory for our 40 yards. Uh, we can go ahead and display it in uh, minutes of angle, mil, or clicks. And of course we can adjust for a moving target. And uh, the detail screen works like any other detail screen that you'll find in iSnipe. We can uh, have a look at the, uh, the bullet path and its velocity and energy at this current moment in time. Well, that's everything there is to the rangefinder feature. I thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you guys next time.